TIs are being stripped of their rights, not only in the, as U.S. citizens, but in a moral sense. They are. Their existence is being wiped out by underground security organizations, which are invisible to the general public. Right. Members of these secret harassment networks have infiltrated all kinds of organizations in order to carry out their persecution. They operate above the law, and their tentacles of criminal organizations sketch through all major ag agencies and vouch for each other, covering each other's backs. True. Once a person is targeted the organized, uh, by the Organized Stalking Program, or OS, OSP, attempts to label the target as mentally ill or threat to society or a criminal of homeland security uh, risk, because they don't want the American people to know about these atrocities and torture and abuse that these programs are causing. The program that targeted individuals are put into are intentionally designed to be ludicrous so that people in the general public will have a difficult time believing and that this can be actually be happening. First targets are profiled. Then they are systematically slandered, psychologically abused, spiritually degraded by means of carefully cra crafted protocol. The goal is to steadily break down a target and discredit them until their finances are drained and they're made homeless or they're institutionalized, or jailed, or they're pushed to the point they tried that of suicide. To facilitate their no-touch torture protocol, the organized stalkers adapt technologies to fabricate videos and audio recordings that are used to slander and falsely discredit the victims yep. as drug dealers, rapists, child molesters, or threats to homeland securities, and much more. Yep. Some TIs are probably put on secret, secret government watch lists, which 1,400 agencies have access to. In fact, there's a judge in Virginia right now trying to declare this system unconstitutional. And many other heroes are speaking out in much the same way. Yeah. The private security organizations that are formed and funded with taxpayers' dollars are unjustified, unjustly targeted people every day that have been protected from criminal investigations and legal scrutiny. They have operated above the law yep. until now. That's right. Targeted individuals are followed by low-life scumbags everywhere they go. Yep. TIs are put under 24-7 surveillance. How does the target know this? Because for psychological effect, the organized stalkers tell them what, did, what they did in their house the night before, right. the week before, right. the month before, right. when no one should know what they were doing in the privacy of their own home. Right. Right. TIs also have to endure the smear campaigns, yep. right. which can cause them to lose their jobs yeah. or their families right. or, or their families to become dissolved. The whole organized stalking program is based on covert, narcissistic, psychopathic oh, tactics. Yes, yes. Out on the front lines are the people doing the stalking and harassing our bottom feeders and the community policing thugs. And these are the front line stalkers that targets appear as blips on their trackings, tracking apps like WhatsApp. Right. Yeah. The target's phones and all their other information, including computers and emails, are hacked. And this is how TIs identify and location are spread throughout the underground gang stalking community. Mm. Yep. TIs have absolutely no privacy in their lives. No. And every piece of data that can be collected on the target is collected. There is no other way to describe this protocol as sickening. Yep. Right. To say the least. Yes. Yep. People involved in organized stalking often masquerade as law enforcement. They flash real or fake badges to individuals that the targets have contact with. They use their authority to tell people that the target is under investigation of whatever slanderous label fits the bill and the scenario. They tell the bystanders that interfering with their investigation could land them in jail. Almost all people are going to believe the agent or officer wannabe in that situation. <laughs> people are manipulated in this manner, then spread the destructive rumors about the target uh, individual in the establishment and get more people to join in the illegal surveillance and harassment of an innocent person. Yep. Yes. Yep. If people don't want to per participate in the extrajudicial persecution, 
they are bribed or told that they will be targeted or their families will be taken part or be targeted if, excuse me, they do not take part. Even more disturbing, the organized stalking programs capitalize on directed energy weapons, microwave weapons, ultrasonic weapons, right. laser weapons of all untraceable and hidden to the public eye. Yeah. The situation is just like the notorious MK Ultra experiments of the 1970s, which were hidden at first and then admitted by the president himself, President right. Ford. Yeah. Right. In the same exact way, government agencies are going to discredit TIs and not admit that this program exists. In other words, the cowards are hiding behind yeah. this. Amen. Because they do not want the public to know about it and the millions of crimes that are committed daily. I also want to tell you about the high-tech weapons that is most commonly used against Target. Hang in there. We call it V2K. Yeah, right. Yep. Which stands for Voice to Skull. This is a weapon that can transmit audio and into a victim's head. This technology is sometimes called Voice of God and is based on microwave hearing effect. There are at least 23 patents of this technology that I know of and is the most psychologically damaging weapon that is, in my opinion, has ever been built. Private audio transmissions into a person, um, into a person's head can cause adults to make decisions they would normally not make. Imagine your own business, imagine Imagine minding your own business in life, and all of a sudden, you start hearing voices telling you to kill yourself, or that your spouse is cheating on you, or go commit crimes, do drugs, beat right. your kids, right. kill your boss, your spouse, your family, and you have no idea where this is coming from or who's telling you to do these horrendous things. All you know is that you are of sound mind, and you have never had a mental health issues. You just want it to stop, but it won't. Oh, right. <sighs> it won't. And there's, no, there's nothing you can do about it. Imagine your toddler, six-year-old and 12-year-old, telling you that you're, they're hearing voices, which are telling them to hate daddy. Mommy's not real. Kill your sister or hit your brother in the head with a shovel, and you can't stop it. The organized stalking program have purposely designed, cut off every means of help for TIs, including the help, the help that they should be getting from law enforcement. In fact, the systems that have infiltrated law enforcement, the emergency uh, services, hospitals, mental health cares, university, and the courts, and other systems that could contribute to destroying the targeted individual lives. I'm not saying that all these institutions are aware of the crimes or are in on the targeting, but there are definitely perpetrators in local, state, and federal agencies who facilitate these crimes and work within the criminal program. Yes, they do. Not, only, not all police officers are corrupt and aware of the targeting program, but I guarantee if there is a targeted individual in a certain city, Without a doubt, some police officers are in that city, are involved in that person's targeting. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Targeted individuals don't believe they're being targeted. They know they are being targeted. It is not delusional when your home gets broken into and the gas gets turned on to your stove and your furniture is rearranged and items get stolen. And these episodes happen over and over, over and over, over again. Over. It's gaslighting. Gas by a thousand cuts.